Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. By this time, the main incision and on site port has made. An air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber. Tripan blue dye is then applied over the anterior capsule, taking care that the dye should uniformly stain all around. The dye is then washed out with BSS. In this case, only one side port has been made. And 2% SPMC is then injected into the anterior chamber. And now, capsulorexis with uterita forceps. SPMC is applied over the cornea for better visibility and now the uterita forceps is introduced the anticapsulis is crashed, the capsular tag is raised the tag is held and with clockwise movement an adequate size terexis is being done since this is a cataract with a hard nucleus Rexis should be of adequate size and this is quite adequate the size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter now hydro dissection this is passed just under the anterior rim now the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized The nucleus didn't rotate nicely. Now we can rotate the nucleus after introducing the FECO handbrace. Here it is. The FECO needle goes into the anterior chamber with bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now the nucleus is rotated nicely. And now the FECO needle is turned to make it bevel up. And the needle is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator, and it is chopped. The nucleus is chopped at another place at 90 degree apart. And now this is another chop. This is the other hemineucleus. So by several chops, multiple fragments have been made each fragment is being emulsified with ultrasonic energy which is 70 percent in this case delivery is in continuous mode the flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury bottle height is about 130 centimeter and the nucleus is managed nicely in this way. The chopper is removed to make the anterior chamber more stable. And now cortical cleanup is to be done. I'm going to use a 23 goes Simco cannula for cleaning the cortex. Simco gives very good control and with Simco chances of posterior capsular rent during irrigation aspiration is less than 
that when irrigation aspiration probes are used. And now, hydro implantation of a monofocal single piece intraocular lens. Here goes the lens. This is a hydrophobic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Upper Sami Associates. The lens is tiled nicely. The capsular bag is irrigated, anti chamber is irrigated. And now this is moxifloxacin. Now the single side port is closed, hydrating corneal stroma on either side. Now look at the optic of the intraocular lens. It is covered all around by the rexis margin. So the rexis was nicely centered and of optimum size about 5.5 millimeter. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.